Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Deus Ex. And when last we left off, we're looking for more munitions in the base preceding the Super Freighter. We don't need them to blow up the vessel because we have more than enough already to do that. We have 14 rockets, 4 lambs, and a light anti tank weapon. But I won't say no to having more ways to blow up robots because later on in the game, we start seeing a lot of them. Speaking of robots, we don't have to worry about these ones here because they're back to stand by. If the alarm goes off though, they'll revert to hostile, so let's make sure that doesn't happen. I can't promise it won't, but I'll certainly try. I'm going to pop up here before we check out the areas that we've opened because there are goodies here that you could miss. Like this lockpick, the sabot shells that we're full on, and a light anti-tank weapon. I imagine this is here just in case you get pinned in by these robots or if you really need to take out one of the big robots like the one around the corner. You can also see more robots in there, there are two, for a total of four in here. If they're all hostile and shooting at you, they'll mincemeat you within moments. You really need to be careful in here. Now let's check out the goodies that we found in here. Ignoring the TNT because we don't need that, we have some 10mm ammo, we have some high explosives ammo for the assault rifle, and some generic assault rifle ammo. We don't need any of that ammo, but we'll hold on to the high explosives ammo. Who knows, we may end up using that gun. Some Sabot shells we don't need, some normal shells we don't need, and an EMP grenade that we could take, but we're not going to. Ballistic armor that's useless to us, and some rockets. Now we're talking. As for around here, we have two lambs, they're always useful, and another light anti-tank weapon. I don't think we ever see two light anti-tank weapons so close to each other in the rest of the game. They really do want you to be ready to take out these robots. There's one more thing we want to do here before we leave and head around that corner, and that is to jump up here and use this as a makeshift stairway. We gain 50 skill points for that, it's an accomplishment! Basic acrobatics is pretty nifty. And there is a way that we can go beneath this building. That door I don't think we can open. We're not going to be going this way, however. We're going to be taking a much more straightforward route. It's also a lot more dangerous. Now there you are. I knew there was somebody that patrolled around here, but I didn't know that you got so close. Just stay there. Excellent. You're not going to be setting off any alarms, and I'm really glad that you're deactivated. There's a room here that could be important if you need bioelectric energy. There is a repair bot in here. But we'd have to move our box over to here, and it's quite difficult to get out of there without using lockpicks or explosives, because this door is quite securely locked. Two picks and 50% door strength. Is there a way over here? Ah, there is a way over here, but there's this blocking it. If you activate this, I believe that door will open, and there's a really nasty robot in there. We don't want to get that attention, so we'll go this way and get an area location bonus. We've got one space, so what do you have? I was hoping that you'd have some lambs, but you just had a knife. We'll drop that knife. And there's the crane that we heard about, and a room where there's lots of toxic gas. If you think there's a point to going into this room, you're wrong! There really isn't as far as I know, so we're going to ignore it and carry on deal with you. Now you see that that robot is turning around, that robot is still on standby. Good thing too. There should be dialogue for this. There we go. Try taking the elevator to the top of that crane. You might be able to get on the roof and enter the building through the air conditioning ducts. That is the way I typically use to get through this building. But I'm not going to be doing that this time. I'm going to be taking an even more straightforward method. And I still don't want any knives. I don't really go over here. There is a uh, area here for the sewer control valve. We heard about that. And there's you walking around. Is there anyone else? There's you. Hello you. How are you? You're not so well anymore. And I'm glad for that. Let's have a conversation with you. You a supervisor? Whole place been turned upside down ever since they opened that sub pen. I'll pretend to be a supervisor if that means you tell me some stuff. Yeah, I was there. 
Mr. Multi-Trillionaire Bob Page was all smiling and cutting the ribbon, talking about how it was this big deal for New York. Doesn't sound like you like him that much. Next thing I know, Page is gone and a bunch of these FEMA troops are running to place. Say it's military security. Coincidence? I think not. I don't know about military security. Last thing I saw, Doc, there wasn't a sub. It was some big damn freighter. Chinese, maybe. That's the boat we want to get onto. You know anything about the bonus situation? I mean, we're working some long hours here. I'll get back to you on that. Um, if this is about last week, that was just a one-time thing, okay? It won't happen again. I've no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds very suspect. Damn, you people got anything better to do but look over our shoulders? I certainly do, but I also quite like annoying you. I keep my mouth shut, I don't see anything. That what you want to hear? It's probably what's keeping you alive. Damn, you people got anything better to do but look over our shoulders? There's one thing here, but I think I can get using speed <laughs> enhancement. Yes, I can. Was it worth it? No, it's napalm. If you had a flamethrower, that would be very nice to see. But we don't. So instead, I'm going to go all the way over to here and get into this building using the main door. This one right here. Is this more dangerous? I don't know, because I've never done this before. We need four tools to bypass this, but I bet the 0909, yep, that code will do it. Oh no! We don't have a hard hat, everyone! They're surely gonna realize we're not meant to be here now. Let's be careful. Ooh, this place does look very dangerous. There's a camera there that we're going to have difficulty avoiding, so you know what? Let's not avoid it. If there was somebody there, I imagine they're quite alarmed. Ben, what are you doing here? Seeing if the Grey Death gets taken off the Super Freighter? Let me know if you find any information about that. Forearmed is forewarned, after all. It's very risky you being here, you know. They might put the dots together and realize who you are. I know, we need to take risks, but sometimes there's such a thing as too much risk. Just be careful, okay? I've got to go now. Be vigilant. There's somebody in there, and the door just opened. Why did that open? This is a heavily guarded building. Be prepared for resistance. I don't seem to be getting any resistance. Are these friends of Vinny? He must be dead. Come here, I've got something to tell you. You do? They gave the ramp key to the foreman. I think his locker's just up the hall. Oh! Be careful in there. I will be, thank you. You must be a friend of Vinny's. The FEMA people are on red alert. Don't ask me why. Oh, I know why, and trust me, you don't want to know. The FEMA people are on red alert. Don't ask me why. From Captain James Keene to Ensign Charles Warrant. Security restrictions. Ensign Warrant. In the interest of security and for your own protection, regular patrols the will guard the dock while the PRCS wall cloud more. is in port and the gangway for the wall cloud will be kept in its raised position. If you or your men need access to the wall cloud, the ramp will be lowered with the code 6655. The it should Don't go without why. saying that this code must not be shared or else disciplinary action could result. Please coordinate your men with the ranking FEMA security officer present, Captain James Keene. Well, we figured out the code for the ram, and that's going to be useful. What about this? While the PRCS war cloud is in port, I fully expect your cooperation in adhering to FEMA security protocols. Due to the sensitive nature of the war cloud's cargo, the ship will be in lockdown while docked and only the minimum necessary personnel given clearance at any time. Please contact the dock foreman with an access code for his people. I trust he will oversee the operation and ensure that he understands the necessity for these precautions. Interesting. There's also this security terminal that we're going to be using because we could always do with turning off cameras. So if we didn't talk to Vinny, I imagine this place would be very dangerous to go through and there are quite a few people to talk to. We don't get a signal on that camera. That camera doesn't exist anymore. Anyone in here? There is! You can sure tell the janitors haven't worked in a couple of days. 
Oh? I don't see why they don't just send all of us home. You don't want to know why they're not sending you home. Don't mind the free paycheck, though. I imagine. I should have brought a book. Any particular book? I should have brought a book. You're not going to be specific. Okay. Let's have a look at all of these and see if there's <laughs> anything worth finding. Ooh, a data cube. Ensign Warrant. In the interest of security, ah, we've already read this one. It's another way of getting that code. Anything else in here? There are showers. Any goodies in here? No. Let's leave and head further in. That camera is not hostile to us. Good to know. There's the objective. The PRCS wall cloud. You should have no trouble slipping past the guards on the dock. They seem to be walking standard patrol routes. That guard, however, is a little unhappy to see us. Hello. Would you like to come up here? You fool! <laughs> the FEMA people are on red alert. Don't ask me why. I've no idea why. Just pretend you never saw that, okay? Good. Let's head down and see if there's anyone here we can talk to. There's you two. Hey, you're the guy Vinny was talking about. Sandra's friend. Yeah? We're 100% behind you. We want to know what's happening on the ship. Me too. The code to the ramp is 6655. It's that easy, but watch out for the guys on night patrol. I will, thanks. Another way to get the code. Good luck. Thank you. Hopefully I won't need it. A lot of foreign nationals up there. I'm not sure why. I know why. And much like how I've said to many other people, you don't want to know. I'd like to know why Walton Simons was here yesterday. Oh, he has a vested interest in this operation going well. Say hi to Sandra for me. I'm afraid I can't. She's... left town. Vinny's a lucky son of a bitch. Vinny never got the chance to meet her. Good luck. Thank you. Now, there was somebody else here. Where did you go? You went there. Hey, that's cool, you know, Vinny? We pet. I hope you find out what's going on. I already know. I think they're making a secret treaty with the Chinese. No, that's not what's happening. Hey, I called the newspaper myself, but no one called me back. It's like the person that you would have called is dead. I think the special interests have control of FEMA. Somebody certainly has control of FEMA that's not meant to. Something just wasn't right. What's the emergency? Why is FEMA here? You don't want to know, trust me. I think they're making a secret treaty with the Chinese. There is a newspaper here. Family discovers new species. This could be, yep, it's that lizard that we've seen before. Looks like their existence is now out to the general public. Now, let's see if we can take care of these foes without... Hey, hey. There we go. Without uh, getting shot at. Marvelous. You can uh, panic if you like. That's fine. Go over there. It's a good idea. Now, there is a door here. No unauthorized personnel, eh? Oh, it's the crane control. I think this is... Uh, how you'd use the crane if you wanted to uh, use it to get to the top deck. But we don't need to do that. We can just raise the ramp using the code that we got. 6655. Brilliant. There are going to be people on that freighter that we need to worry about. Quite a few people. Anything over here? We could have used the uh, sewers to get to this point, and this is where you would emerge. You have anything good on you? Probably not. You have a knife. Marvelous. We don't need that. You also probably have a knife. We probably don't need that either. In fact, we definitely don't need that. Unless your knife is super awesome. No, it's just the same as every other knife. Also, I couldn't drop it there. Can drop it here, though. Let's head onto the boat and be very careful. Sword of the Ready. Now watch for guards, and find a way to get below decks. There are a lot of guards here. Ooh. There is another way to find Everett. He has a mistress named Beth Duclair. Remember that name when you get to Paris. I will. Beth Duclair. Got it. Now 
There's one guard. You're probably armed with an assault rifle. Sergeant. Oh, Sergeant. there are two guards here, and they're both gone. Brilliant. Did anyone hear that? I don't think they did. Good. No explosives. I believe there are some over here, though. Time to use super awesome speed! Uh, that. And Remember that was a terrible idea because I couldn't, uh, I couldn't actually stop myself properly. Let's use our healing and wait for you to come around the corner. Aha! A much better plan. Don't ever do that again, me. I tried to make it look cool, and I just made a fool of myself. But what's new? Haha! <laughs> ah, there's something that's new. An explosive. A light anti-tank munition, and I think there are even more over here. And Did there's you! Hear something? No, no, no! You didn't hear anything! Ignore me! You did! But you still managed to shoot me in the head. Unfortunate. But I can recover. That was 48 points of damage. And that is another lamb. We have some sniper rifle ammo and a med kit that I don't need. And ballistic armor that I accidentally picked up. Don't need that at all. Let's put that down. You'll notice that just in these two areas alone, we've already picked up quite a few explosives. The game has to presume that you enter into the submarine area with nothing to blow up the freighter. And I think we'll find even more explosives when we are in the boat itself, on this floor and the lower deck. Speaking of this deck, we need to be careful. There'll be people walking around. 75 skill points. Not bad. Let's see what we can find. If we run around too much, we will attract attention. Our footsteps are quite loud. Hello. Two people there. And a camera. Let's try and avoid that camera. You didn't want to come in here. Oh, I think we've been spotted. That's unfortunate. But them. Come out! You're armed with a pistol. Admittedly, that hurt. And the other person didn't care. They're probably going to care when they see this body. If they see this body, they probably will, because I'm not going to move it. Anything in here? That is locked with infinity door strength. We're Remember not going to be... My orders are to shoot on sight. Oh, I think the body's been spotted. Hello! <laughs> Now you're gone. Brilliant. Let's go back to opening these. A bioelectric cell. Might as well use one, and then take that one. Brilliant. And we're not opening that one. This is a shower area and bathroom. And there are more of these here. One of these is going... Yep, that one is locked. We're going to ignore that. And keep looking around. There's this area here. Ooh! A vial of ambrosia! The only known vaccine against the Grey Death. Unfortunately, it is quickly metabolized by the body, making its effects temporary at best. We found the thing that Stanton Dowd wanted us to get. I think it's one of the only vials we can find on the boat as well. 60% lock strength or 50% door strength. You know what? We have more rockets than we do lockpicks, so... That was definitely worth it, even though we may have attracted some unwanted attention. Yep, people are running this way. You really don't want to come this way. There he is. Which way is he going to come in? This way? Or that way? That's the one. Oh, okay, oh dear. I think we've seen someone that's a lot more dangerous. Ooh. Unfortunately for you, you were poorly prepared, and I'm going to deal with you right now. No setting off the alarm. I want to try and be stealthy. And to be fair, I'm not doing very well at being stealthy, but hey, augmentation upgrade canister. Unfortunately, we don't have any room in our inventory right now, so we're going to have to make some room. Let's just check here. This is the other way in. Now this vial of ambrosia is quite interesting. You can actually drink it. And if you do, nothing happens. 
Not surprising really, considering that we can't catch the Great Death. But this is really important. Stand and Dowd needs this to survive. Oh no! I seem to have dropped it into the water. Silly me! Me and my butterfingers. It's floated back up to the top, but I can't go and get that. The people on the boat will see me and I'll surely get shot at. Oh well. Let's just tell Stanton Dow we didn't find any, eh? Maybe he could see through my info link and watch me drop it. I hope he didn't. He'd be quite angry if he could. Now we can go and pick up the important thing. This augmentation upgrade canister. And we can look at which one of these we want to upgrade. We could upgrade Aqua Lung to increase our lung capacity moderately. Or we could upgrade the aggressive defense system. Which one of these am I more likely to remember to use, though? Honestly, it's probably going to be this one. So, let's upgrade it. I never thought I'd be upgrading Aqualung, but here we go. Now it's at level two. Is there anything else for me to find here on this level? There's that camera that I'm still wary of. Fortunately, the camera can't see me here. Or do I want to go up or down? I actually want to go up for now. And we've attracted some unwanted attention. Are you going to realize where I am? I hope not. In fact, I'm going to hide in here quickly. You won't find me... Ooh, that room looks quite important. And so, when we come back, folks, we're going to see about exploring the rest of the upper areas of the boat. And then we'll head down into the lower decks. The place that we need to blow things up in to scuttle the Super Freighter. I'll be very surprised if we manage to pull this off, that's for sure. And I imagine Walton Simons and Bob Page will be very annoyed indeed. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.